so literally this is the video that i'm uploading and it's funny because with all their power and their you know the chip on their shoulder or whatever they're still afraid of truthers or people changing population's mind that they're trying to mold a certain way um so it's funny because if they weren't afraid then why would they try so hard to hinder us to slander us to hold us back you know constant surveillance helicopters flying by police cars passing by you know the tons of money and time that they put in to surveil us and what are they really surveilling us fighting back it's not us unknowing anymore it's us being awake us making our own choices as in us as in a few as in the two percent So it's just funny because if these people weren't what I'm saying they are, why are they stalling to upload this video? It's literally been 15 to 20 minutes stuck in this cycle. And because I'm speaking the truth, like I said, and I've been saying, they don't like it when you're right. They don't like it when you see them coming. Um, they want to maintain a dominant image. And in my eyes, they're not nothing to be feared. They can throw me to the reptilians. They can freaking throw me in the lion's den. I will still remain faithful to the most high. Like people are so afraid of the creeping things and the evil things of this world, but what's the most evil is what people are doing to other people. I'm not afraid of Satan or anything like that. I'm ashamed of the of people and I'm disappointed and I'm disgusted with how people are treating other people. God's people are treating their brothers and sisters. Because without us, Satan's agenda cannot be fulfilled or pushed forward. So obviously, these weak ass people are making decisions for us. Because they're afraid of whoever's running this world or whatever's going on. That they don't want us to know the truth. Because what is the real truth? If they really wanted us to go along with whatever bullshit that they wanted. Why wouldn't they tell us the truth? Because we would see through their lies. Or we would see through the real truth. And we would say, uh, yeah, I'm good. Still, I'm good. I will stand up for what I believe in. Like, I don't know how much helicopter fuel these fucking weak ass people are wasting. But it's honestly pathetic. They're trying to collect any little information that they can. Any little thing. They're, they're, they're paying real close attention right now. <sighs> I swear these people are going to remain pathetic to the day that they, they're buried or taken out. It's just, all I know is that just because I'm being hard and being kind of cocky about things is because I'm trying to change people's minds. If I was being loving, they wouldn't understand that because they're not loving type of people. You know, when they finally figure it out and they understand the love of God, which they don't, and they're not seeking it. They're not going to bother trying to, you know, worry about things like that because they're not worried about those things. They don't search for them. They're not looking for them. And 
it doesn't mean that you need not to walk in righteousness or to be compassionate or show love. But I have videos talking about all kinds of different things. And when I'm angry or when I feel a certain way, I talk a certain way about certain things. And I'm not always in a negative mood or aspect. I'm not trying to, you know, make people think that, you know, this world is, is lost and, you know, and there's nothing you could do about it. No, I'm fighting. I'm trying to make you see that there is a way. And the way is through Jesus of Nazareth, Yahshua HaMashiach, right? He is the way, he is the truth, he is the light. And just like Guru Chila Joe said, that the electricity is, he, he, this is how he put it, he said that he was cast out of heaven like a lightning bolt. Or I forgot exactly how he put it, but pretty much he's referring that they are referring in the Bible to Lucifer as electricity. So when I was thinking about that, he said you, there should have never been electricity like invented. We were good with candles and stuff like that. That's natural light or natural fire. The electricity that is in our homes is literally Lucifer's agenda. Um, I mean, if he is right, and I remember first watching Guru Chilla Joe's channel, and this dude, man, he he inspired me so much in my walk when I was going through hard times. Is that a little bit of my, you know, boldness comes from this dude. He's one of my, I would say, my mentors, I, I would say. Um, I'd really like to talk to the dude, but um, I know he's busy. He has his own family and stuff like that. So I don't, um, I don't press on the issue too much. But there'll be a time and a place for everything. And, um, you know, we, we like, I, I know that if we come together in Christ... You know, when one or more are gathered, he is there in the mists and eventually we're going to have to come out and we're going to have to, we're going to have to come together because things are going to start to get worse for a lot of us. And um, especially if we're truthers and we believe in the most high, it's not going to be easy for us because we are, um, we're set apart from their scandalous way of, of living. And instead of trying to help their brother or their sister, um, they like to watch you suffer and, you know, contribute to things of wickedness, which we don't want to take a part of. And little by little, we're, we're learning and trying to trying to perfect our walk and to make sure that the creator is the one that is pleased with us, you know, even though we all are, we're all, you know, not one is good, but we want to please him. We want to serve. We want to be of service. So we're going to do our best to try to, to please, you know, the one who sacrificed himself for us at, so that we may live And uh, I honestly wish a lot of people the best, and I hope that they start to change their hearts and start looking to the real answers and not the easy way out, because the easy way out, it's, it's easy right now, but it's going to get real bad in the end, and I don't want to see anybody go to hell. But if that's the choice that you make, I can't I can't make the choice for you. You know, I believe that there is a higher creator and he is going to judge. And 
I'm even worried that I might not make it if I stray from my path, if I start to, you know, give in to temptations of the flesh or it's easy to fall off, you know, it's easy. And um, we're not perfect, but we have to try to perfect ourselves. That's why he died. He gave us a chance to fight. He gave us that Holy Spirit to guide us to overcome sin. He gave us dominion over sin, serpents and scorpions. That's why he came down was the whole purpose of him being a sacrifice for us. Is for us to be able to beat this beast system. And remain holy and righteous as much as we can. It is possible to say no to sin. It's just a simple choice. That's it. Do you want to pull that trigger? Or do you want to let this person live? Do you want to freaking, you know, if people are wishing harm on you, you have to defend yourself. If they're literally going to kill your family and stuff like that, I mean, I feel that that's something we just have to do. I mean, there's wars in the Bible. People have fought. People have shed blood. It doesn't mean you want to shed blood, but you have to sometimes. It doesn't mean you're going to go killing little kids and stuff like that, like these sick Satanist worshipers do. To, you know, throw them in a volcano or please their gods, which Christ never asks for you to do things like that. Anyways, um, this is not about religion. I just, this is what I believe in. And if you have other beliefs, then that's what you believe. And it's your own walk. I believe because of my experiences and my trials and things that happened or that I was shown that make me believe. That doesn't mean that oh, people say, you know, oh, believe in God, but that's it. And, you know, you need to believe because that's the way it is. No, you question it. You go through life. You see things. You understand. And then you start to build that faith little by little. So, I don't know, man. Sometimes I feel like these videos are not helping anybody, but I know that they are. And I'm going to keep reaching out to people. I'm going to keep speaking. I'm going to keep commenting. I'm going to keep freaking fighting until my last breath I will fight. So, it doesn't matter what this weak-ass system does or how hard they try, bro. Try hard, bro. Try your best to try to take out God's elect. You will never succeed. The only way you will take us out, if he allows you to. Why do you think we're still alive? Why do you think they haven't taken over already? Why hasn't this one world agenda been established? Because they are on borrowed time. They do not stop time. They do not run time. They can travel in time, but they cannot stop time. All right? Only God, the Most High, Yahuwah, Yehoshua, Yahweh Sheh, can only one And that's where they fail, bro. Because they are not all powerful. They need technology to be able to freaking watch us or do whatever it is that they do. And that's what makes them weak. And that's what makes whoever they follow weak. Satan. Fallen electricity. But we are the true elect. The real electricity made in his image. The real light that powers everything. How do you think our heartbeat stays a beat? You think what? Lucifer controls that? <laughs> oh, no. 
No, 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 no. He doesn't make cells do what they do. He doesn't make the sun and the moon turn and turn around this plane, this earth, and this firmament. He didn't build or create none of this. He lives here. He doesn't run this shit. He's another puppet, just like everybody else. And we could say that it's a rigged game. And they could say it's a rigged game because God controls everything. But see, this is the difference between Satan and the Most High. The Most High works in mysterious ways. Satan is easy to be seen where he's coming from. God is love. Satan is fear. And that's the twi the biggest differences between our gods. And I will never fear him or any of you. So keep trying. Keep trying to control this world because you don't control it. Only God does. And you guys will all eventually see that in Judgment Day. And I can't wait. To see that day. And it should be coming very soon. I hope it does. Praises to the most high. I give all honor and glory to him. Without him I am nothing. He is my God. He is my savior. He is my everything. <laughs>